Hey guys, we are gonna make a really quick um, chicken pot pie tonight. You are gonna be amazed at how quick it is. So down in your pan, you're gonna put about a teaspoon of garlic. It's on low. I'm eating all the food. <laughs> Sampling all the food. You can really put as much or as little as you want in there. So we are going to use our grilled seasoned chicken. And I'm gonna go ahead and put two cups down. You're gonna to get to the point where you're just gonna eyeball things. Um, if you want the pieces to be smaller, you just break them up. There you go. And then we're just gonna add everything that we need. So chopped onions. When you do chopped onions, about a fourth of a cup is a whole onion, a medium onion. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down. Our, can you give me that can of um, carrot cake there? Yeah. Our carrots are one of the few things that are dehydrated. And so they don't um, come back as quickly as freeze dried food. Um, and they also grow where typically freeze dried food is the same shape and size as it is in its natural state. Uh, when you dehydrate something, it shrivels it. And so then it grows. So this was only a couple tablespoons of our carrots and I put them in water. So we're just gonna add those. Just drain it out and then put it in. So I just started doing that. When I started gathering all of my ingredients, I just went ahead and put some in water so it would be ready to go. If you forget to do that, you just need to add a little bit more liquid when you're cooking. Okay, then we're going to add a cup of potatoes. Ooh, I already eat these. Not all of them, they taste good. You can just eat them plain. You can just eat them plain, yep. So they're freeze dried. Go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our chicken stock right now just to get it going. We're gonna start it with about two cups. Remember with freeze dried food, you really can't mess it up. If you add too much liquid, you're going to um, drain some off or cook it off if you don't add enough. And go ahead and add a little bit more. So let's see what we have in there. We have our chicken, our grilled chicken. We have our carrots down in there. All we need is for the liquid to get through all of our food here. So I'll take that. Oh, you're totally fine. Okay, you wanna give me the celery? Yep. Wait, ever ever tried celery pudding? No. Pretty soon, Ella's gonna be cooking her own classes in here. Tastes like celery. <laughs> tastes like celery. Everything tastes like Do you wanna put, um, maybe one and a half of these of corn and one and a half of peas. So she's gonna put three fourths of a cup of corn in here. So one whole and one half. Yep, one whole and one half oh, of a half. That so that equals three fourths of a cup. There you go. And then the same thing? Yep, same thing. So you can see like how friendly it is to cook with your little ones in the kitchen. There you go, awesome. Now, oh, this is gonna be a little bit warm because the oven's on, so let me move that. There we go. Okay, so see how this is looking a little bit dry? I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I don't wanna add too much, but I am gonna add a little bit more. You can absolutely use water or water with a little bit of bouillon. I just really like using chicken stock. Now, hey Ella, do you like mushrooms? No. No, it's a long celery piece we're gonna take off. She doesn't like mushrooms, but I will tell you as her mom that she likes the flavor of mushrooms, just not the texture. So what she did for me a little while ago is that she put a half a cup of mushrooms. It tastes weird a little. So. Well, you'll have to see when it gets in here if it's gonna still taste weird. But you think the powder tastes a little bit weird? Um, I don't know, cause there's, when you put powder, like kids don't even know it. No, so they, they don't. So they can get their protein, whatever you want them. You got it. So she's not a big fan. What she's saying is she's not a big fan of mushrooms, but I had her put a half a cup of uh, freeze dried mushrooms in our um, coffee grinder and now it's a powder. So now we're going to add it and it's just going to add the flavor of mushrooms without Whoa. Wee, that's not fun. You're kind of breathing and oh, blowing it's into you. everywhere. You can't see it, but it's so fun. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna let this keep warm, but you can see like the colors are bright and vibrant. It smells really good. I'm going to, hey Ella, I'm gonna have you scoot back a little bit, little one. Oh, there's powder right there. I know. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add, leave this over here. And I'm gonna make a roux. You can tell, look at that mess I made. Don't look. Okay, Don't so look. what we're gonna do is I have a fourth of a cup of melted butter down in here. And I'm going to add a third of a cup of flour. And we're just gonna make a really simple roux to thicken to thicken our sauce the boy that we're making. Just watching. It's okay. No, it's like no, what is a roux? A roux is like a thickening agent. So whenever you're gonna make a white sauce or you want to thicken up your soup, you make a roux. Because if you just threw flour in it, it would have a flour taste. And so you kind of want to cook out the flour taste. Uh, so if, if you cook flour, it makes it, I don't know, it's not cookable. It just makes it so it doesn't taste like straight flour. So, I don't taste straight flour. Well, if, you were, if I were to throw it into a soup to make it thick, you would say, well, this is a little floury. And so this, we just cook it down with a little bit of butter because everything is better with butter. Yes. It smells good. Does it smell good? Yes. And it came in a smaller mushroom, so that's great. I can't even see the mushroom because it's powder. I know, that's the secret. <laughs> Moms can hide anything they want in the food and the from kids their kids, know. and the kids don't know. But I already know the secret, so, but still, sometimes I don't know. A lot of times you don't know that it's in there, do you? Yeah, like shakes. You like you put um kale, kale, and I'm like, you put kale in this, but I can't taste it. I know, moms are tricky. But like when sometimes when it looks green, you're like wondering, but it tastes different. You're like, what do you put in there? Kale? I don't know. <laughs> Funny, huh? Okay, so you can see that the roux is already thickening this up. I have a half a cup of whipping cream and a half a cup of milk. We're just gonna add that down into it. It's kind of interesting what it's gonna taste like with cream and milk, what? I know, fancy, huh? It's like, is it like a dessert? No. Okay, and we you are basically done with the inside of your chicken pot pie at this point right now. Now everybody seasons theirs a little bit different. We put garlic down in the, in the beginning. So we have garlic in there. And I just used a regular bone broth chicken, chicken bone broth. And so there is some sodium in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. If I want more salt, I'm gonna add it now. And then I'll also add some pepper. If you want your chicken pot pie to be a little bit more liquidy than it is right now, then go ahead and just add a little bit more broth. If you like it thicker, then just cook it down a little bit more. But there you have it. Now look, you didn't have to touch any raw meat. You didn't have to cook the meat or cut the meat. You didn't have to get anything out of the freezer. You didn't have to get, um, cut up any carrots or peel them. You didn't have to cut up the celery or even have celery in, on hand. If you did, it's probably wilted in your fridge. You didn't have to cut up an onion. You just threw it all in a pot and that is it. So in just a second, I'll show you what it looks like in the pie pan. Okay guys, we are back. We just have a puff putt pastry here. Um, I got this one right here. Just in the freezer. Oh, has, I took it out of the trash, sorry. So it just looks like this and there's two of them in there. We cut one up to make a treat. Another one we just have here. It's been out of the freezer for about 30 minutes, so it's still cold, but um, enough that I could get it off, like unfold it. So Ella's gonna roll it a little bit. It's here, yep. We just wanna make it a little bit bigger to fit over the top of our pie pan. So get this one a little bit thin too, there you go. And then mom's turn. Thank you. Trying to get them. And we're just gonna stretch it a little bit this way. Cause sometimes it doesn't really get big. And you want like to have like this smart, you have to have roll it up and then you have to put it on, so. Okay, so this is what we were cooking over there in the stove and- No bottom pieces. Nope, we don't have anything on the bottom, no crust on the bottom. We just have it here. Um, one thing you wanna check before you take it off the burners, you just wanna make sure that 
like the chicken is cooked through, it's just gonna be soft. So it's already been, it's already cooked. We just wanna make sure it's soft through. If not, just let it simmer a little bit longer. Um, I did add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to this. And then we're going to go ahead and put our puff pastry crust down. And this, oh, we're gonna stretch it out. Because it's so good, we're just going to fold it under. Right? Fold over under this edge. Fold under this edge, because who doesn't like an extra? People are gonna want those pieces with the extra hanging off, right? Yep. I, oh, there's some more sauces over here. Okay, and then we just have a simple egg wash here. Mm -hmm. It's one egg. You can also use our scrambled egg mix. And just paint the top. I'm also, you know what, Ella, I'm also going to go ahead and make some steam bowls. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of pieces here. Might wanna clean up a mess in the oven. So I also put it on a cookie sheet. We're gonna cook this in the oven for 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. You're just looking for it to be nice and golden brown on top since everything else is cooked. We'll show you what it looks like when we get it out. Hey guys, we just got this out of the oven. I just dished Ella up her plate for tonight. So, I mean, look at this yummy, flaky crust, this delicious filling. I'm ready to eat. You're ready to <laughs> dig in? Okay, let's get an honest review from an eight-year-old, shall we? Come over here. Oh, so good. Okay, what do you think? Oh, is it good or not? I know, but still. I always like to use knives. Because we're fancy like that. Okay. What do you think? That's good. That's good? Okay, guys. Go make it for your family. Super easy, super quick. Have a good one. Bye.